Hey guys and welcome back to Mzanzi Sobi Ketchup. If you're new here, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to know every time we post a new update. Friday 1 November, Molefa admits he can't pay Msisi his money but Msisi insists he still wants it and later Msisi realizes Molefa's genuine goodness despite his shortcomings. Monday 4 November, Msisi buys Vusi's car wash in Tembisa and hires a surprise Molefa to run it on his behalf. While Soka forgives his grandmother after she apologizes and says she'll be leaving for KZN with Ketiwe. Tuesday 5 November, Msisi encourages Molefe to take charge of the car wash after a difficult initial encounter, suggesting it might be an opportunity for him to improve his life and reconcile with Dorothy. Wednesday 6 November, Molefe enforces strict rules at the car wash but upon Msisi's arrival he finds the operation smooth under Molefe's leadership. Thursday 7 November, Molefe discovers Vusi's rival car wash causing concern for his employees and customers and Shogi seeks owners help for a presentation one Kwasi assures of support. Friday 8 November, Molefe's car wash is enticingly improved after failing to get Vusi to shut down while Shogi cancels a big event and attends a photo shoot with Nkosi. Monday 11 November, a desperate Molefe asks Isaac to move his Shisanyama to the car wash to help entice customers back to the business after his half price special flops. Tuesday 12 November, an unimpressed Isaac confronts Molefe for opening a rival Shisanyama at the car wash, leading to a drop in sales at Isaac's own Shisanyama. Wednesday 13 November, despite Molefe shutting down his Shisanyama at the car wash, sales failed to pick up at Isaac's Shisanyama, leaving him worried. Thursday 14 November, Molefe learns Isaac's Shisanyama business is slow and begs Isaac to at least try setting up shop at the car wash and Isaac reluctantly agrees to move his Shisanyama. Friday 15 November, feeling like he betrayed Ria by sleeping with Maria, a guilty Isaac chooses not to respond to Maria's calls and messages. Monday 18 November, Msizi understands Molefe's reasons for relaunching the car wash and asks him to inform Dorothy about his success, but is disappointed when Dorothy remains indifferent. Tuesday 19 November, Shoki's guilt for deceiving Nkosi continues to burden her, leading to confusion and anger when he discovers Shoki's use of contraceptives behind his back. Wednesday 20 November, Nkosi confronts Shoki about taking contraceptives behind his back and he's left devastated when she reveals that she doesn't know if she'll ever be ready to have children. Thursday 21 November, a pained Maria accepts and hopes that they can still be friends, while Shoki is disappointed when Kosi decides to sleep out instead of coming home to her. Friday 22 November, after repeated attempts to make peace with Nkosi fail, a desperate Shoki breaks down and admits to Faith that her marriage is on the rocks. Monday 25 November, Faith urges family intervention to address Shoki's marriage issues, while Nkosi warns Faith and Msisi to stay out of his unhappy marriage. Tuesday 26 November, Nkosi understands and they both agree to wait a few years before having kids. In addition to his car wash job, Molefe decides to work after hours at the salon to make extra money. Wednesday 27 November, Tato and Laz's growing friendship has Mampo secretly worried that Tato could end up telling Laz that she's been passing off his designs as hers. Thursday 28 November, Tato shares his experience of being kicked out of home for being gay and Les offers support and reminds him to show his designs the next day. Friday 29 November, despite Mampo offering Tato a salary bump and a percentage of profits to pacify him over her use of his designs, Tato quietly intends to show Les his design sketches. As always, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to know every time we post a new update.